So um, I've been feeling very disconnected from myself and from my purpose. I uh, have some idea as to why that might be, but there are way too many distractions in my life and I'm tired, I'm just tired of distracting myself. So I am doing something about it, not just for myself, but also to show you, whoever is watching this, that you can do this too and that you don't need to be constantly distracting yourself. There's nothing to be afraid of. I take this walk to get some sunlight just first thing in the morning, especially if it's a work day, because then I'm gonna be inside for seven hours. It's a beautiful spot just to get a pretty intense amount of sunlight at nine in the morning on a Monday. And while I'm out here, I uh, wanted to fill you in on what I was going through in that meditation. I, um, so there was this woman that I went on a date with last week and I invited her out for a second date and she said, I feel more of a friend connection than a romantic spark. So if that's okay with you, then I would be happy to still hang out. In that meditation, I was just like, do I actually want to do that? Or do I feel like I should want to do that? Also, I almost ended up buying a truck just like this one. Look at that beauty. Ford F-150. You can't see it from this side, but it's got two gas tank things, which means it can hold up to about 550 miles worth of gasoline, which is pretty fucking crazy. All right, so at this point, you might be wondering, what the hell's going on, what are you doing? Let me explain. For as long as I can remember, I've always been drawn to distractions. Whether that be TV and movies, the food I eat, stuff like scrolling social media, and just generally spending a lot of time on my phone. So I've decided to try a seven day detox from all of my distractions. And this is how it's gonna look. No sugar, no TV or movies, no YouTube no podcasts, no social media, no music, except for writing and my emotions playlist, which I generally use when I'm feeling sad and I wanna emote and really connect to myself. And a third one, which I didn't write down, is going to be my dance playlist. And I'm keeping that one in because dancing for me is a way to release trauma and move energy through my body. So it's not really a distraction. No phone. Now I am gonna be recording this whole thing on my phone. So what that means is that my phone will be on airplane mode. There will be no pornography and no masturbation. There will be no dating apps or going on dates. And then finally, no marijuana and no alcohol. During these seven days, here are some of the things that I will be doing. Work, going for nature walks, working out, painting, woodworking, poetry and prose writing, journaling, WhatsApp or Telegram on my computer. And I'm keeping those two because the goal here is not to isolate myself from my community. And I've just generally found that using them on my computer is not much of a distraction. Socializing if the opportunity presents itself, sitting in silence, doing nothing, editing videos. Now, what the hell is the goal? There is a personal goal and then there is a secondary goal personal goal is to discover what it is that I might be running from. Why am I distracting myself so much? Or more like, what am I distracting myself from? My secondary goal is to show you, the viewer, what a life without most distractions could look like. 
What does life look like if I'm not watching sports all the time? If I'm not watching YouTube all the time? What, it, what What's left? Together, we're going to discover that. There are two more goals, and these are very minor goals that are just kind of bonus goals. The first one is to get out of my comfort zone. And secondly, to get to a thousand subscribers. Now, if I get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this series being released, I've decided that I'm going to shave my head. I'm not donating my hair to kids with cancer or anything like that. This is just kind of like a little wild card, right? Throwing that in there is a little like, eh, let's see what happens. And finally, the only rule in this detox is that I have to start over if I do one of my don'ts. And I will be filming as many days as it takes me to get through this. So it might take me just a week. It might take me a month. Who knows? So anyway, today is day one and we've got some work to do. I'm going to start off by finishing the handles for my latest project, which is a box, a toolbox. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. So I just finished not a perfect handle. I don't really care. Not about being perfect. So uh, I've been reading this book called Nourishing Traditions. It's basically shown me that most of the food I was eating was garbage. So today, instead of my usual breakfast, I am having rice with broccoli, ground beef. I usually have glass this tall full of almond milk to help with the spice, but that's full of sugar and <laughs> I can't do sugar. As you might notice, there are two lemon slices in my water and I believe lemons have sugar. So I am making an exception for my water, but on that note, I am also including natural sweeteners and fruit in my no sugar. power just went out. I was about to go for a long walk and potentially a swim, but I'm not sure that's a good idea anymore, considering that I don't know when the power is going to come back and all of my food might melt and <laughs> rot. As the series goes on, you might notice that in my apartment there is a standing chest freezer, four seven-gallon jugs of water, and the soon-to-be-acquired generator. And the reason that we have all these things, my brother and I, is for situations like this, which we foresee happening a lot more often. And, well, as you can see, if you don't have power, you don't have food. This will definitely throw a wrench in my plans. Unless the power just comes back within the next hour or two, then everything should stay about the same. But, you know, of course, if I can't find food, then <laughs> sugar might be back on the table. So things got a little bit difficult. I ate dinner and then I started talking to my brother uh, about sugar, <laughs> uh, which was a big mistake. All that to say that I am now coming to HEB to buy some chocolate muffins. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm coming to HEB. I thought I was going to come to buy cashews. Turns out cashews might have sugar. So that is how strict I'm being with sugar, except for the lemon. <laughs> Everything has sugar and my last resort is going to be some kind of sparkling water with good flavoring or something. 
I don't know, man. I'm just gonna see what they have at HEB. Also was just thinking and it's like, Mr. Beast recently did fasting video where he was supposed to do a month and I think he maybe did like 15 or 16 days, but that's literally just drinking water. I'm doing a week and I can eat. So if he could do that, then I can definitely do this. It's all mental, man. I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be great. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why I said that. So yeah, let's go unveil H-E-B for you. Walk away. Walk away. Oh man, look at those colors. not expecting that. Less than one gram? That makes me think that there might actually be something here. Can I help him out with my car? Yeah, you can. Thank you. Yes sir, have a good night. completely forgot to mention the whole reason I went to the grocery store. I logged on to Telegram. One of my buddies, John, sent out a request in one of our group chats like, hey, if anybody's interested, there is this event happening on Wednesday that's like a potluck dinner with strangers. So that's why I went <laughs> to the grocery store. But anyway, man, that is a wrap for day one. I would say all in all, <clears throat> I do feel like I got a little bit busier than I would have liked. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna go to the park uh, with Whitney, but I will decide on that first thing tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go to bed before the cravings for sugar come back. I feel pretty tired, so I think I'll fall asleep fairly fast and I think I'm gonna make it. I think a week of this is doable. So thanks for tagging along today and I will see you tomorrow.